Hi guys, my name is Cornelia, but you can call me Corny, and I'm here back to bring you exclusive news about Love is Blind Japan. If you haven't checked out the series and watched my reactions, go and check it out. It's really fun. I really enjoy this series and I can't wait for season two. Guys, there's going to be a whole bunch of spoilers, so I really recommend for you to watch the series first before you come and sit down and listen to me talk, because you'll be like, what the hell is she on about? Who are these people, girl? I'll link it here, it's everywhere. Go watch it first and then come back and join in on the, the exclusive news. I have been receiving so many messages on Instagram and links. My reaction was like, what the hell? And I'm sure you guys who sent me the link on Instagram were like, what the hell, corny? And I was like, I gotta have to come back and speak about this to you guys because one of the people that I dislike the most versus one of my favorite people have gotten together guys I know Amori what the hell the man pop locked and dropped his way into Ayano's heart like what the heck guys what the heck but then once I dived into it I was like when I looked back at their time in the pods and their interaction they did like each other it's just that I know at the time she liked Yudai and then Yudai didn't go for her so she was like what about me and she was still talking to Mori and the old guy what the frick is his name I'm so sorry Mori didn't choose her so she went for the old guy. The real timeline that nobody knows is kind of skewed, but my thoughts are that Maury didn't go for her and she got rejected, so that's why she went for the other guy because she was like, okay, I'm left in the dust, what can I do? Those two were talking a lot in the pods and there were moments where he said what they liked about each other. I remember Maury said that he didn't see any flaws in um, Ayano. Do you remember that? So imagine being told that you're too perfect and that's a problem and I think what he was trying to say is that she just didn't give anything like she had these perfect answers she didn't really talk much about herself but her reasons for saying that was that her parents moved around a lot because of work and so she never felt comfortable opening up to people and that is the reason why which I kind of uh, I guess like you don't want to waste your time so that kind of explains a little bit about her character but clearly it wasn't enough at the time in the pods for them to really like solidify and have a um a deeper connection but I think maybe with these two what they really needed was just time because of the process things are rushed and they really don't have enough time to get to know each other and people get scared of getting left behind getting left in the dust because remember guys there were other cast members that didn't get shown in the series for story sake they didn't really get a narrative um so i think a lot of people did want that airtime and did want to find so somebody you know what i'm saying We're running out of time and we need to like match up pair up with somebody like now and i think if those two maybe had more time like they do now they'd find each other and I think that's what's happened in my eyes, in my speculation. Do you remember at the party? She was being a bit awkward and unnecessary, you know, with Maury. And I was just like, is this the time, girl? Do you miss him, girl? And I think at the party she did, I think at the party she did want Maury and she was trying to make him jealous or trying to say, oh yeah, in the pods we had this moment. And it's like, girl, you got your man, focus on him. But clearly there was still something there in the back of her mind and I think maybe she was going after him more than he was going after her she was kind of like regretting and wanting to be with Maury I think if those two had got together in love is blind I don't know if I could say that they would have got married by the end of it but I feel like they probably would have continued to date each other so this may be a slow burner they may be married by next year I mean when time's ticking and the society, the pressures of society and age, and especially in Japan, I think people do get married quite quickly <laughs> after meeting. That's my belief. I don't know if that's always true, but that's my belief. I think in the West, we're a lot slower and we take our time more. But um, yeah, people just like, go, go, go here. They might be set to marry by ne this time next year. Who knows? So let's see. They're probably going to get married. I think so. And I like the way that they've kept it private so that when they come out together, it's like, what the f... <laughs> I and I posted in English and Japanese and they've got a very cute picture together looking very fashionable and neutral looking cute whispering in each other's ears giving a little huggy hug and I'm like what the fuck's going on <laughs> but I'm also like okay do you think be happy today was Maury's birthday who became my precious person <laughs> okay we we have met again right before love is blind streaming and started seeing each other a lot okay so that's what brought them together oh my god see when these reunions they do things to you guys they were realized they were like you i remember i wanted you and i want you again boo boo <laughs> It felt so natural to be together. I was at ease and maybe it's because we spent lots of time in the pods. 
but our circumstance was complicated so we talked and spent lots of time together to find out the shape of our relationship and we are in a serious relationship now you see what I said exactly what I said we were worried about making the announcement but received many messages about me and Maury so we decided to open up and explain to those who always support me thank you so much think there will be some questions I think there will be some questions because it happened after the show and we were seeking a way how to answer it for the last ha for the last time happy birthday to my love she said my love you know Japanese people to my love she said it in English go girl claim your love um and still surprised that I am with someone who accepts me for who I am and who I want to make happy from the bottom of my heart I cannot thank love is blind enough and thank you for the continuous support look it's did its thing it's worked it's pod magic okay they've finally made them ways to each other and congratulations for their relationship that's all I can say good for them uh, I'll definitely be keeping a close eye and now that they've gotten together hopefully they will have a peaceful happy lifestyle when it comes to fashion though will I say they will slay okay I know knows a good dress I know knows how to dress and I love her style and I love Maury's style and personality so I'm hoping that the style and fashion of them two together will please me aesthetically personality wise I don't know because I don't know if Ayana has a personality and who she really is but I'm hoping that she can open up and show us a little bit of that side of herself that I never felt um so yeah I just wish them all the best of luck I checked the timing and the day and I was like oh let me check the other couples I checked Midori and Wataru they're having a baby <laughs> Midori is pregnant with their first little baby bundle of joy and it's funny because you know you watched her go through the process in the series talking about like she couldn't really imagine them having kids together and she's like I don't know what the future's gonna be like and she was just worried that she couldn't picture her them like having an actual life together and now look at them they're happy they're thriving and she's pregnant I, I they haven't revealed the sex yet I think it's still too early but the timing, I'm not sure if it was on the same day. I have to go check out now. But look at the picture. They're so cute with the dog. With, of course, what's his name? Lupin the dog. Oh, yeah, I remember. See, with Lupin. And the tiny little picture. They should have zoomed up on the picture, but okay. She posted in Japanese and English saying, I was finally able to share this happy news to my close friends at the wedding party last night. My health condition is very well, as well as the baby Mitaru. <laughs> they have the shipped name Mitaru it's so cute guys I have been able to do my work and things I like without much change while I am pregnant and I need to thank thank to my boss and team members who are really understanding and caring and most of all thanks to Wataru-san <laughs> who takes care of the house chores and Lupin more than ever oh I told you Wataru is your guy man he's a good guy don't don't let go honey um thank you and I love you oh I am so happy for them honestly it's truly amazing news can't wait till when they reveal the sex of the baby that will be interesting what do you think it's gonna be I hope I don't know whatever the baby's gonna be I hope that she's gonna be happy and have a safe pregnancy just because I'm nosy <laughs> but also has anyone heard about this reunion it looks like I might need to do a video of reacting to the reunion I need to find where this is link me guys link me and I'll watch it and we'll have a little chit chat about it but yeah, that is it. I just wanted to jump on here and give you guys an update who actually enjoy the series and be like, this is what's happening, guys. Let me know. What do you think down below about the news? What do you think is going to happen? Will they last? Who knows? Also, I am continuing um, the Love Wagon series. It's just I'm postponing it because there's other things that I have to post before then but I am continuing to react to the series don't worry and if there's another series that you're interested to get my reaction and viewpoint on please let me know down below if you'd be like corny this one is popping go watch it because I know you'll like it and it will be a good laugh let me know yeah thank you so much for listening and watching and join the conversation if you haven't subscribed please do so because I'd love my community to grow and I love having conversations and reacting together with you for you guys it's so fun for me so please subscribe like this video share with anyone who's interested in this series and wants to get the update come on exclusive news so yeah until next time guys fighter gambiter peace and love bye